This game is called the sum game. For this game, you will need a game board that looks like this. It is a four by five grid with the numbers one through 20 written on it. If you don't have a board like this already from a previous play, you're gonna to wanna to pause this video and make this board right now. Don't forget to put zero through 10 along the bottom. You will also need something to mark your board with. It can either be two different types of items or two different colors of the same item. For this game, I'm going to be playing with yellow and my imaginary friend Dinosaur is going to be playing with blue. If you have a live and in-person buddy to play with at home, feel free to play with them too. But I don't have anybody to play with me here today, so I'm gonna be playing against Dinosaur. You will also need two additional markers to mark the bottom of your board. The idea is to be the first person to get four of your markers in a row. They could be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, either direction. I'm going to go first. I can place my markers on any two numbers on the bottom of this board. I will then add those two numbers together to get a sum. I'm going to do 10 plus zero. 10 plus zero is 10. So I get to put a marker on the 10. Now on Dinosaur's turn, Dinosaur only gets to move one of these markers. So Dinosaur has to decide where he would like to put his marker and think about if there's a way he can get that sum by just moving one of these. So Dinosaur might do 10 plus two, moving the one marker to the two. 10 plus two is 12. So Dinosaur can mark the 12. Now it's my turn. I'm going to be looking for something around my current marker so that I can try for four in a row. So I'm going to do two plus four. I'm gonna move that one marker down to the four because two plus four is six. Now Dinosaur might do four plus four is eight to take this space. Now, hmm, I know, ooh, if I move this marker over back to the 10, 10 and four is 14. Now don't forget, you can try to block your opponent. So if Dinosaur doesn't want me to win to get four in a row, he might want to take one of these squares from me if he can. So he might take 10 plus eight is 18 and block my way there. Oh, I really want that too, but there's no way I can get it with what I currently have, either an eight or a 10. So I'm going to move this marker over to the six to block Dinosaur's 16. Okay, now Dinosaur might do, let's see, Dinosaur, I don't know, Dinosaur might have to kind of come up with a different move here because I don't think there's a whole lot of ways he can go with the markers that he has. So maybe Dinosaur will do, let's see, six plus one, is seven. I am going to do one plus one is two so that I can take this two and have four in a row. That means I just won this game. Dinosaur and I can clear our boards and play again. The reason I like to play this game with markers on top of the board instead of crossing things out with marker or pen like we do in a lot of our games is because this board takes a little bit of time to make, so it's nice to be able to reuse it. Have fun, good luck.